Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to Hack My Growth. In this episode, we're going to be talking about what business intelligence really is and what we need in order to have an effective BI strategy for our marketing as well as business growth. Hack my 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 Thanks a lot for checking out this video. If this is your first time or maybe you've been watching for a while, please hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you join our community and just really be a part of what we're doing here on YouTube as well as uh, on our blog and across the internet. So today we're going to be talking about business intelligence. And a lot of times when we hear words like BI or big data or um, you know AI and machine learning, what does that really mean? A lot of people want to be involved in it because they see that it has a practical application or benefit for their business. But a lot of people don't really understand what BI is and what you actually need behind the scenes in order to make BI effective for your business. So a lot of times when we talk about business intelligence, people really tend to really only think about this section over here, which is the presentation side. And this is the dashboards, the scorecards, the, the OLAP tools, those things that, you know, you see the data and you visualize the data. But as you can see, that's really here at the end. What we need to really understand is what needs to happen before we can get visualizations that actually benefit us and really make a big difference. So we need to push all the way back to, to the beginning and really the foundations of our data. We need to have good data sources and the data needs to be stored correctly and we need to make sure that we have all the data before we can start moving forward into really digging into that data and analyzing that data to make some sense of it. And it really begins with organizational memory. And it's in this stage that you really start to pool all of your data together. You know, your data warehouse, your, your ERP solution if you have one, your knowledge repositories, your content management systems, your, your, your data management systems. Where is all your data? Where's your customer data? Uh, where, what's your content at? You know, and is it being all, all stored, those interactions being stored? Is it structured or unstructured data? These are really important things to think about. And a lot of times we, we kind of leave this to the IT world. You know, and I'm not an IT guy, but I'm a guy that has gotten really, really interested in big data and how I can use it more effectively as a marketer and a business owner. And what I've realized is I need to have a basic understanding of how this IT infrastructure works so that I can help really you know, bridge the gap between business and IT. That's usually where most of the friction is, you know, where IT kind of, you know, has their own world and running with their tools and the business has, has needs that they want. And what we need to do is start to fuse that understanding. The best way is to start really understanding the data sources. Where is that data housed at? How is that data stored? You know, is it a SQL database? Is it no SQL? Uh, is it in Excel sheets? You know, where are we storing our data and how are we storing it? And this is all going to be called organizational memory. This is all the data that we have structured. Now, the next phase as we're moving, now that we have our data, now we need to really tie that data together. And this is information integration. So this is where you know, have some business analytics tools, data mining, possibly real-time decision and support. But really what we're doing is we're starting to tie the data together. So this is where some business analysts do get involved and, and work with your IT team to make sure that the data is structured and that it's linked properly, that you have the right data from both your CRM and maybe your content management tool, as well as maybe your marketing uh, efforts. And you're seeing a more of a 360 degree of what your customers are doing. And this happens during the information integration stage, where we're tying those tables together, tying those tables and data sources together so now that we can begin to analyze them and really pull the value out of them. But again, before we could do that, we had to have the data structured or pulled in properly and we had to have the tables done and built properly. And then we integrate them, we tie them together. Now we start to have the ability to create some insight. Now, this is not where all of your users are going to get involved. This is really where your power users, those business analysts, those people who really are digging deeper into the data to start to pull some of that insight and pull some of those meanings out of the numbers. And during this phase is where you can start to do some text mining and understanding the text both on your site and maybe other sites. You know, there's a lot of really great tools out there. Google Cloud is really expanding their offering. And that's something that I've really been pushing in to get a better understanding of of, of the content on my sites and the content on other people's sites. And, and Google Cloud's got some really cool tools. If you can invest a little bit of time into learning them, you can actually start to use some of their text mining tools and their web mining tools to understand what's going on on the text, what's going on on different websites, and really pulling that data in. And, and you can even start to do some environmental uh, scanning. And that's not like you know the trees and, and all that. That's actually going back through all of this data and understanding how, how your business is, is, is structured and how the data is flowing through your business and how your processes are working. 
So this is where you can start to understand where maybe you've uh, maybe you're, you're you're shipping too slow, uh, or maybe you're you're not having the right products at the right time, or customer support is too slow. You're gonna start doing this in in insight creation. You know, if you're a warehouse company or you're a company that's in more retail, this is where RFID tags come really handy because now you can compare that data versus your environmental scanning and really understanding where your products are and how they're moving around your organization. So it's in this phase that you really start to dig a lot of the meaning and the deep meaning behind your data. And finally, we move into presentation. After all of this work, now we're ready to move into presentation. And this is where we can build these visualizations, these scorecards for different teams, these dashboards that can be extremely helpful for the the, the day to day user. But we want to make sure that we've got all of this stacked up before it, before diving into that. So one of the things I recommend before you just go out and buy a visualization tool, before you start to invest in, in something that looks nice and shiny, really go back and start to look and see what kind of data you have. See how it's structured. Understand how it's integrated. Understand how people are already using it in your organization or if they're not using it at all in your organization. Because just buying a visualization tool isn't going to solve your problems, especially if all of this back here is a mess. Now this is a crash course on, on really how BI should be structured, business intelligence, business analytics. It's more than just a front end tool. It's really a process and it's, and it's a really, um, a really a way to build your culture around data in order to use that data to make informed decisions because that's really what we're using it for. Not just to feel good about ourselves, but to see maybe where we're, we're not performing as good as we should be or maybe an area where we're really doing well in that we never would have realized unless we've dug into the data. But BI is a powerful way to see behind the scenes and really start to take action. But before you do it, it needs to be structured properly. If you've got any questions on business intelligence, business analytics, or really any one of these phases, please comment below. We would love to continue the conversation and help steer you in the right direction. There's a number of powerful tools out there. I've been playing a lot and I know I've got other videos and I'll link to them in this video on uh, Google Analytics, Google Sheets has got some really powerful tools that can help you through this process. And Google Cloud is really, really starting to grow and become a powerful uh, just, just data tool for, for business owners as well as designers as well as engineers. Uh, so if you've got any one of those questions, you can check out our other videos that kind of go a little bit deeper into some of those tools. And please comment below if you've got a direct question about something we talked about here today. Thanks a lot for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, continue to build community with us. And until next time, happy marketing. Hack, 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 hack,